A fairy is a mythical creature that's usually depicted as being small. Having a humanoid body, small wings and in some reports is even able to glow. In recent years though, people have come forward with some interesting photographs that allegedly show these creatures. Those that have seen them though have gone on to explain that they aren't physical creatures, but are actually interdimensional. This person shared these interesting photographs to their social media. When the woman posted them, many people were interested in what they were. The woman who took the photographs said the following to me. Please do share the photos. I think it's important for people to know that we have many non-physical beings that surround us with love and guidance. End quote. After talking for a while, the woman went on to say that the reason she can see these is because she's trained in the Gateway program. Interestingly, I talked with another person who also said they have this ability. They went on to detail that it allows them to see these types of creatures, and that they're more in touch with things that most people can't see. They said the following. After training myself, I've been able to see where these things are. I've pointed them out to friends and family and they've said they can't see anything. However, when I take photographs of them, they show up on the images. I'm not sure why this is. Perhaps cameras are able to pick up on things that the human eye can't. I've been training myself for many years now and it's definitely something that everyday people can't do. It allows you to see some of the incredible things around us. Most importantly though, this thing is real. And if trained properly, many people can do it. End quote. When you hear about these kinds of things, it can be easy to dismiss them. But the Central Intelligence Agency have shown that they're very much interested in individuals who are able to do these kinds of things. For those unaware... A recently declassified document was released that showed an interesting government experiment. It surrounds the training of psychic soldiers, and enhancements to the brain known as the Gateway Process Experience Experiments. The declassified document titled Analysis and Assessment of Gateway Process seems to be a written memo between a US Army researcher at the CIA and sent to a US Army operational commander located out of Fort Meade. The subject of the memo seems to have been the analysis surrounding the legitimacy of the Gateway Process study. Most likely, the US government was unaware of what the Gateway Process really entailed, and so sent an independent researcher to the experimentation areas to undergo the process, and learn if there was any legitimacy to the study in the first place for continued funding. The document then goes into the breakdown of what the Gateway Process holds, with the first explanation from the researcher being in regards to the human body's natural frequency of the brain and the frequency following response. According to the study, a form of enlightenment can be triggered in a person's mind when both hemispheres of the brain begin operating at the same frequency, allowing them to communicate without any form of distraction and leading to a heightened state of focus. Although it requires a number of different techniques to reach this state, the main contributing factor in the study was a device that relied on the human's body's natural frequency following response. Additional techniques for reaching the sinking of the hemispheres included assisted hypnosis from a psychologist, as well as techniques that match transcendental meditation practices, with a note stating that gurus who have practiced this meditation practice for 20 years have the ability to reach a hemisphere sink for up to 15 minutes at a time without any form of assistance. According to the document, this training lasts around 7 days before a person is capable of reaching a hemisphere sink, and is capable of furthering the study with tasks related in skill to the gateway process experience techniques. The researcher writing the document then notes that this is typically where the training and ability of most of the subjects end up and that less than 5% of the participants are able to move past these skills and into the realm of impossible to understand psychic abilities. The last and most advanced of all the focused states associated with the Gateway Training Program involves movements outside the boundaries of time and space, but with attention to discovering the future rather than the past. 
the individual who has achieved this state has reached a truly advanced level. The document then ends with the researcher stating that the gateway process experience should be provided to all members of the organisation for heightened mental ability, and then goes on to suggest a 12-step plan as to how to provide the gateway training to all members of the organisation. Although the document fails to elaborate on the finding, the memo then states that the training could open up members of the gateway process to be attacked by intelligent energy beings if the boundaries of time and space are continually surpassed. Stating in quotes, Subjects must be intellectually prepared to react to possible encounters with intelligent non-corporal energy forms when time-space boundaries are exceeded. The fact that the CIA have invested money into people who have this ability is interesting. Those who have practiced alternative theories and who have worked on their brain have said these things are doable. The document went on to say that individuals who have practiced this can be used to gather information from such entities and the universal consciousness. So what do you make of these photographs? Do you think they show fairies? Or do you think they show everyday creatures? Also, what do you make of the CIA saying that subjects must be intellectually prepared to react to possible encounters with intelligent, non-corporal energy forms when time-space boundaries are exceeded? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.